This is fun. <laughs> How would you guys like to learn an amazing, fun, user-friendly technique today to earn more money behind the chair and have and, and to be more creative? Right? Awesome. Okay. Thank you guys for being here so much. I know it's your day off and I, I just learned that it's not a mandatory thing to be here. So I just want to take the time to say thank you to come in on your day off and learn something new. I am very passionate about education. I think that nobody can ever take that away from you. So once you have that in your little memory, uh, you know, uh, compartment in your brain, um, it's something that you'll have forever. So I'm excited about that, right? Um, today, we're gonna go over the elements of balayage. We're gonna talk about how to create a really beautiful, graceful grow out to make a lot of contrast and sun-kissed look um, on your client and have fun doing it at the same time. And so be, and so not be so robotic with some foiling behind the chair. Is everybody in with that? Right, okay, fun? Okay, awesome. My name is Kim Sclafani, for you don't, that everyone that does not know me, I'm a L'Oreal professional balayage artist. I've been on the team for 10 years. I travel all over the country. I do shows, I work at the academy. And I'm a salon owner in Greenwich, Connecticut, and I'm behind the chair five nights a week, just like you guys. So I get it. Um, I'm here to just share with you my experiences and what I've gotten first before you guys. So I'm on the same playing field as you guys. So let's have some fun today together, right? Let's learn a lot together. Not only am I excited to share um, what I know about balayage and hairdressing in life, but I'm excited to learn from you guys as well. Sound cool? Cool. Excellent. Okay, so how many people in here already hand paint? Show of hands. Awesome. A good amount of hair paint, balayage. Awesome, a good amount of you, right? Okay, so does anybody know what the word balayage actually means? Take a sweep to paint. Excellent, excellent, awesome. Okay, I want to go around the room really quick and just get everybody's name and maybe one little tiny thing and how long you've been doing color and maybe one tiny little thing that you're looking to get out of the class today. Is that fair enough? Just because I know that you guys are all a eclectic group here, right? Coming from all different salons, right? So not everybody knows everybody, is that true? <laughs> okay, so we're going to start over here and let's see how good I am about remembering the names. Sometimes I'm on and sometimes I'm not so much. I'm David, um, doing color about 25 years, and I want to learn how to balayage and get it on wet enough that I can lift a good many levels, where it's not drying after one level, it's not orange. Okay, so hold that thought. Hold that thought. So maybe mixing up the product with the right viscosity to get a nice even flow so the product doesn't dry out because we all know it's an open air technique, right? And so we don't have the foil in there to keep it nice and moist. So to get past the orange stage, right? <laughs> gotcha. Okay, that's a good one, David. Awesome. I'm Amanda. I've been over here for 10 years. 10? Yeah. Um, just some new techniques without foil. a lot of foiling with balayage? Okay, so new techniques. I like to say that balayage is really a method of hair coloring, right? It's not really a technique because it's creative and each and every individual person is going to be different because we're customizing it to that particular client, which is fun because we're not so robotic with highlights, right? Because we're going to put in so st structured the foils right, in the Mohawk, or the box, or the pinwheel, or, right, there's a thousand different ways to foil, but they're all kind of very structured. So the balayage. It's kind of like the, like, 
Saran wrap or something for the leaves. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna go all of that. I'm that's excellent. We're gonna go all over that. So new technique. It's gonna be a new method for you guys to be coloring hair. Amanda, right? Favorite Amanda. Yeah. Uh, Blanca, I'm sorry. You want to call her mom? Yeah. Uh, I have to change my my body. I just can't dry my body off. Okay, dry. Yeah. Okay, now they're drying, not drying out. So it's really kind of maybe the product that we're mixing up. Okay, we'll be going over that. Blanca, David, Amanda, Blanca. <laughs> Someone because that is the biggest question that everybody asks. How do you get the perfect hairline? It's scary. We all need a foundation, right? You need to walk before you run. Awesome, I like that. David, Amanda, Blanca, Ariel, Ricky, Krista. You're a model. <laughs> Tiffany's are one of our models. Excellent. <coughs> awesome. And I'm um, inspiration. Inspiration. That's a good one. Especially people that, you know, like us that have been in the industry for a long time, always looking to light that fire, right? I like that. <clears throat> Diane, David, Amanda, Blanca, Ariel, Ricky, Krista, model, Diane. Application. 
<clears throat> application. That's a good one. Try it. Okay. Hi, my name is Maxine. I've been living here 21 years. No, 20 years, 19 years. So um, long time. You're yeah. Up there. I just, um, I love the balayage. I just want to get a little bit more familiar with it so I can bring it back to the salon and just give us something new. I feel very bored. Okay. And they want the same thing, and I'm like, I'm charging, and they're like, okay, I want it, but then they don't. So I just want to. So maybe having a conversation? Yeah. Having a conversation, maybe. Just something new. Something to like. Yeah. Like the fire, just like. So inspiration. Like I'm constantly doing the same, like six, ten, touch on time, just bored. Um, okay. So having that conversation and inspiration with your client. Yeah. Right? So we'll, we'll put that under maybe consultation. Yeah, and also a way to switch them from highlights to balayage. That's a conversion. That's a yeah. really good one. Yeah, they want to see it. Oh, can you just try to stop? And then I do it once I just go back in the morning. They just want that level six highlight one. Blah, 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 blah. Like, right. We'll okay. Long Island. Right. <laughs> so we know that when we pack 277 <laughs> highlights in somebody's hair, you're creating a single process, right? So they yeah, might as well do dump that, a just, high lift color yeah, on their hair. Right. So it's having that conversation of the conversion and telling them that this is the opposite. It's a lot of contrast. It's a lot of movement in the hair. It's not one monochromatic color. So it's having that conversation and being able to so convert them. The highlight right. The root. But it's up to us as a yeah. professional to it's steer them in the I'm right trying. direction. And that's always a big one in the salon, right? Because sometimes we let our clients bully us a little bit. And I'm like, let's do a couple of singles before we do highlights. And no, 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 no. And I'm like, you have to see like some more contrast at the root. Like, you don't have to come every six weeks for a highlight. Like, we don't have to do that. Yes, we do. Yeah. So that's that's like a whole other dimension of really having that consultation and having your client trust you. And you know, that's a big one. It is. But you know, we all deal with it. We all deal with those. But by being confident, right, and planted in our ways, we will be able to persuade them because all, it's all about trust. It's all about really, you know, having them hone in on what every word that you say because you're the professional and not turning them, you're turning it around. I'm not going to pay uh, a personal trainer $150 to get me in shape if he's overweight himself, right? <laughs> so we're going to seriously, right? So we're going to rock the world that we live in. Exactly. Right, we don't have to be toothpicks, but we should be professional. Our hair should look good, and we have to get our clients on our side. We have to take that that control back, right? So we're going to get into that too with consultations. So that was Maxine, right? Should I try to go for it. Should I go for it? <laughs> David, Amanda, Blanca, Ariel, Ricky, Krista, Model, Diane, Eileen, Jen, Brian, Maxine. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's well, not done yet. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared. She works with me, but she's my model. She's just a not a hairdresser. She is. Okay. Are you? Is she taking the? Are you taking the class? She's taking the class, and she's my model. Really? Yeah, I think both of Okay. We don't know. She's about my model. Though. Okay. Right now. Do you color hair? Yes. Okay. Are you an assistant, or are you actually? Yeah, I'm a stylist. I've been behind the chair for a year. Okay. What's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin. Okay. Is there anything that you would like to get out of the class um, today? New technique. Definitely more placement so that you can get more movement and, you know, not the typical, you know, balayage so it looks exactly like an ombre, like everyone else is. You know, something that's more playful and different. Okay. So maybe out of the ombre box mm -hmm. and a little bit more traditional up to the scalp. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, no. Right, but we're going to talk about her. We're going to the fun part. Layers and layers of purple under here. Right. Well, okay. So that's another thing. And when we get to the models, we're going to talk about her because we're not so sure that she's model materials. But we're going to talk about that together as a team. Yeah, I feel like she's totally. I went. I went. Okay. She feels like she's caramel. That's an orange face. Black hair. If they left me nowhere. Right. No, well, we're definitely going to address that. There's no question about it. But we have to have realistic expectations. Right? Right. 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 Right.
you know, a five four and then tone her out. Right. You know, no. like she could be a tone on tone. Very natural, sun kissed, lighter brown. Uh -huh. You know. Right. Oh and it, uh, yeah, definitely. That's the look she's going for. Yeah, you know, but that's the look she has to have. I mean, but you know, you have to know where you're going in order to get the end result. You have to one conversation, please, because if she has pre-existing color in her hair, we have to take all that into consideration because it is an open air technique. Yeah, but we'll get into that. So that you're Caitlin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Victor. Victor. I'm actually. 31st year. Wow. Oh, awesome. Oh, That's a long time. Uh, yeah. um, <coughs> placement, techniques. How to perhaps take a single process, just pad the bill a little bit with some hand painting. Okay. So, like a double service. So, right. so like an That's added service. I'm sorry. Added on service. <laughs> 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 That's all right. That's good. So, an add on service. That's awesome. You know, have somebody sit there with the single process. Like maybe a little bang out a few right. face frame highlights <laughs> while they're sitting there. Add some more revenue to your ticket. Always a big one, part of the conversation. Love it. And it takes five minutes out of your day. Right. Right. Perfect. Victor. Awesome. Hi, Diane. And I was Diane? gonna say what he said. <laughs> Another With Diane, the, right? Yes, this Diane, too. yeah. Boom. Yeah. It's like <laughs> solitaire. Boom. It's like solitaire. Like Diane, Diane. I got it. Okay. So I was going to say what he said with the single process and the balayage at the same time. And I feel, I have a picture, that even with 50 volume, it never lifts that light. 50? And when, yeah. And when you, what? I don't know. Yeah. And I feel like it never, like my blonde, sometimes if I wanted that light, but I feel like it never lifts that light, especially if you have your single process on. And I always do single and highlights together, so I feel like I book it, you know, I book it together just for okay. more money and whatever. I just always did it like that to now. With balayaging, with the with the touch up on, and then balayaging, you know, in between the touch up, I feel like it just doesn't lift the light enough. So okay. I probably can't do it together. Well, that's <laughs> true. Sometimes you can't do it I together. I know, because, I know. Because if the single process can only stay on 35 minutes. I know. And then you're cutting it short. Yeah, you're going to get the blonde. Right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to suck it up and, and split do it, it up. different. <laughs> but suck it up and split it up. Right. <laughs> and, exactly. But it also depends. It also depends on what you're using as far as your balayage, balayage method. Like, yeah. are you using the saran wrap? Are you no. just the busket of us? Just, uh, the what am I trying to viscosity. say? Thank you. Of the viscosity of the uh, the product. Uh, enough for you is are you using the right developer let's you know, let's be mindful that it is open air we don't have the foil to pack the heat in yeah so it's all that it's a lot of stuff to consider when somebody does I actually, that look so saturation I did somebody the other day and I had the touch up on and then I volley as Sharon and when I did it I placed a foil underneath and a foil on top and it did lift it yeah it didn't bleed on anything else so okay I mean, so we're gonna go through so maybe, I guess the saran wrap does the same all right, thing so maybe that that would go under yeah. application okay. right yeah uh, different ways of balayaging yeah okay Diane yeah. okay I'm sorry, we're going to start with that. My name is Lauren. I'm doing color for 10 years. And I'm really just looking to expand my creativity. Creativity? Yep. Lauren and creativity. All right, we got creativity up yep. there. We're going to go over certain things. That's awesome. Lauren. <laughs> yes. And then model. 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 <laughs> model. Lauren, model. Okay, thank God for models. All right. Natalie. Natalie. And I've been doing here since 86, color alone for 15 years. And all of the above, and also pricing, because sometimes you do just a few. That's a good one. What is yeah. the pricing that we should be charging? Yeah. Yeah. Pricing. Pricing. Then they don't want to get foils, because the balayage, they love it so much that, uh, the balayage they love so much that they're like, oh, I'm like, hey, why are you charging so cheap? Like, uh, yeah. So. There is that goes to show, did, did everybody, see, everybody see my little yes. inspirational yes. quotes? Do you love them? Mm -hmm. Awesome. That is, um, you'll learn how much you're worth when you stop giving people discounts. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, I really love that one. So we're going to talk about pricing too. Natalie. Hi, I'm Fran. I'm behind the chair for 18 years. And I just come super excited. This is my first formal balayage class. Awesome. 
Yeah. 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 Excellent. So you're just all of the above. You can't wait for yeah. it. Awesome. <laughs> and Maria. Maria. Excellent. All right. Great. So, let's see if I can do this. We have a question. Ah! No, I've never heard of the value. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 there's, yeah, there's yeah, legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they're such a hundred volume that people cut. Yeah. Yeah. And they can make it any volume they want. They can make it 40, 50, 40, 50, 50, 60, 70. They don't. No, we don't not carry legal. it. We get it. <laughs> you can get it. get it on the black market. <laughs> All right, let me try this before we move on. David. Amanda, Blanca, Ariel, Ricky, Krista, Model, Diane, Irene, Jen, Brian, Maxine, Caitlin, Victor, Diane, Lauren, Natalie, Fran, and Maria. Wow! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Everyone's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, very good. So I just have a couple requests from you guys. Um, code of the classroom. I should have went over this earlier, but I got so excited to be here. Um, phones on silent, please. I know that we have uh, families.